name's Peter. Um, normally known as Colonel Sanders. Um, I started this group 13 odd years ago, I reckon. Um, what started, what led to starting this group was a conversation, a phone call with Charlie Felsen from Sydney. He wanted to start a page for Australian early customs, and I said, well, we should we should start a page for Australian A model forwards because we've got a different take on the lace and the rest of the world have got. Anyway, hopped off the phone. And I said to my wife, um, I think I should start a page. Do you want to be able to do that? And I said, well, I'll give it a crack. And I started pushing buttons because I'm not very uh, button friendly. Next minute, I'd started the group. She said, Are you serious? You started the group? Yeah, whatever. It's nine o'clock at night on an Aboriginal community in the top edge of uh, South Australia. And um, yeah, from there, it's nine o'clock at night. I said, yeah, probably about 50 locals I know, like as in A model people. And by midnight, there was 100 people joined up. Got up next morning, there was another two, another 100 joined up. There were six Americans on board by that stage. And it just kept growing. And then, then two and a half years out from the 90th birthday in 2018, I got a phone from Scotty Pohl. He said, mate, they're turning, they're turning 90 in 2018. What do you think? I said, that's good. I said, we should throw a party. I said, well, where are we going to do it? He said, don't worry about it. I've got the perfect location. And I didn't even know where this place was. He said, right, um, leave it to me. You got my blessing? I said, of course you got my blessing. You, under, you talk fluent, model A. And anyway, it, Next minute, the date was set, and we started counting down about sorry, two years out from when the event happened. And we showed up in the middle of winter, and my God, some people have driven through snow to get here. We drove a, a topless rosa from Alice Springs to here, which was like two and a half thousand k's. And um, I pulled up on the Wednesday, and Scotty was standing in the middle of the oval, like, Will someone come please? Like someone better come to this thing. And anyway, we shook hands and people started to rock up. We thought, look, if we get hundred people here who talk fluent model A, that's good. Lo and behold, um, on the Saturday when we had the cruise, there was like 230 model A Fords and we worked really hard to get all we were gonna break down the barriers. We wanted to restore cars, hot rods, jalopies, everything. As long as it's a Malay. You can bring it, right? But you couldn't bring your attitude. You leave that at home. What's going on, Mayor? About 20 minutes. We're out of there, buddy. Where were you? If you're not here, you should be. <laughs> anyway, they organised, a, it was due to have another one, which was going to be the approved day birthday party. COVID struck and it got cancelled. And then everyone was saying, when's the next one? When's the next one? And then. Um, there's a lot of pressure on Scotty to do it. Um, Scotty worked his ass off to make the first one happen. There was a swap meet here last year, and we already had a subcommittee formed. A lot of people put their hand up to say, we're gonna help you out, mate. We're gonna take the pressure off you, you know, anyway. Yeah. Lo and behold, here we are. It's been bigger and better than ever. And the variety of stuff here is just incredible. Where else? on earth could you see oh we've got jalopies we've got beaters we've got 70s and 80s street rods we've got everything we had a gasser here we had a belly tanker pull up mate i mean it's this town is so user friendly for one lay forwards and everyone here is here for the right reason there's no attitudes and it's just good fun and sadly it's come to an end again but We've already started to talk about the next one, and they're talking about the, the hundreds. It's going to happen. So, yeah, um, as long as everyone gets behind Scotty and chips in and helps out, we can do this. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring a car this year, which is hurting like hell. I went through separation anxiety, having a Model A forward sitting at home. But I come and I found this lovely old tin, which I got. Shaco, who's the main pinstriper here, which he striped it all up for me and it's got all the essentials on it. So here we are. And hey, here's the Model A Fords. What have you got to say for yourself? A fantastic weekend. Yeah, it absolutely is. Magnificent weather, magnificent cars and some pretty good people.
Stop it. <laughs> well, good morning from sunny Galgon. This is Bernie coming right at you from the beautiful state of New South Wales. And I'm a Model A enthusiast. I went to buy a Sea Cab Chef truck. I spotted the little Model A in the back corner of this bloke's shed. He says, I've got to have me that little buggy. Anyway, I bought that little buggy. And uh, we turned up here in 2018 as a complete novice model layer and holy dooly did I get bitten by this bug. Nearly cost me a wife but boy it's been good. And uh, here we are, oh, all of a sudden surrounded by what, 300 model A's? 2,000 enthusiasts. Up, you know, you, you, you walk around the pits or whatever you want to call it and there's just nothing but smiling faces. And I think that's what uh, what this little fraternity is all about. I love the simplicity of it, yet they're still so complex, if that makes sense, if you can say that. Look, I'm not a mechanic in any way, shape or form, but I can usually get something going with a bit of help sometimes, but other than that, if there's no one around, well, you've got to sort it out yourself. And, uh, and I can't, that's what I like, but that's the shape, and they just, they just, uh, it's just a gorgeous shape.
certainly wouldn't drive it across to Western Australia from Campbelltown. Johnny Everett. Come to <laughs> Fucking legend, brother. <laughs> Thanks. Round of applause for this guy. I think you heard it come down the street. It's a little black coupe. 30 model. Where's Dave? <laughs> the wild
standing there. I'm just kidding. Done. That shows how cool that guy is. <laughs> if these guys didn't come, wouldn't have happened. Exactly. I only do 20 tunnels from here, mate. I had to get my own car towed. Alright? Free cheese for Scotty!